Bye. Shalom Rastafari. Shabbat Shalom. Senbet Salam. And this is the third uh, um, Shabbat in the new cycle, in, the, in our new year. In our true Hebrew, Hebraic, Ethiopian, Hebrew, New Year, Torah portion, readings, and feedings. And it is also the eve of the 82nd uh, Metasebia, or memorial, of the coronation of Negusa Neges, Ze Ethiopia, or more properly, of Moa Anbesa, Ze Im Negede Yehuda, Kedamawi, Haila Selase, Siyume Egeziaviher, Negusa Neges, Ze Ethiopia, or the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Haila Selase I. Elect of God, King of Kings of Ethiopia. Now, I know a lot of the, the Rastaman probably listening to this and watching this will probably correct, seek to correct me and say, well, elect of himself. Um, but let's understand what the word says and how his majesty says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. So make sure we're not taking shortcuts and we're not disagreeing with the theological level of that. But let's just present the plain witness and the basic evidence as the king of kings would have his, his faithful and his true sons and daughters to do. So we're going to give you an Ethiopian greeting to this particular, um, this particular um, holiday or really holy day for I and I, Bamarinya in, in the um, Amharic. We say in Kwan. Le Nugusa Negest Zod Baal Be Dechna Yaderesawo Be Dechna Aderesacho. In other words, the translation would be uh, Congratulations. He who is who he is, he has brought you safely Be Dechna in salvation in Yeshua HaMoshiach, in our black Lord and Savior to the feast of the King of Kings coronation coronation celebration the feast of, of the King of Kings coronation this is the 82nd and as we um, attempted and, and went forward to to begin on the in the first part this is the second part and and we first touched on um, um, Psalm 47 making particular emphasis to Psalm 40 seven and seven where it says to sing praises or to give praises, sing praises, eyes to the King of Kings in the name and the authority of Yeshua. That's why we say Isis. Many don't even overs. Why we say Isis is because of Yeshua. Right? It's because of Christ and his kingly characters, because of the Father and the Son. And if you've watched the first part of this particular um um, special high holy day. This is a high holy day um, Shabbat for I and I. And in many different ways, um, when we start to look at the, the the prophetic word, all right, and it's and it's it's pathetic if you avoid the prof prophetic word, because the prophetic word revelation it reveals the truth, and we know that we are we are saved. We're we're in the Medhane. Alem, we're in the Savior of the world if we are in Yeshua, the, the Moshiach, Yeshua, Christos, Jesus, that his, his imperial majesty bears witness to. And, and this is the teaching of his imperial majesty. So when we are reading the Torah portion, the reading and feeding, yes, we are Hebrews, yes, we are, we are Judahites or, 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 or Jews, if you please, black Jews, Ethiopian Hebrews, the once lost but now found Beta Israel, but in the new and the living way because of the revelation of the King of Kings. And his Christ, or in and according to the testimony of Jesus Christ. So we keep the word, right? The word of Ha Elohim, of 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 God, Baruchu, right? Blessed be He. Gziyavihir Lotu Subhat. To Him be the praise. To Him be the eyes. Is the Yeshua, 
Yovas. This is why it's so important that we that we recognize and receive and we hear the good news, the gospel of his grace because of because of the the situation that we all are in who have been born into this world of khatiyat, this world of sin, this sinful world. You understand? So we've all been born into we're all in this. You understand? But the difference is whether you accept and receive the Moshia, Yeshua. You understand? And you if you worship God in spirit and in truth, if you receive that grace and the truth. Remember, the law came through Moses, but grace and truth through our Lord and Savior, our black Lord and Savior. You see, the world is a shame of his of his um blackness because they have been deceived by the devil. That's why the end times speak of the end of two major two major um systems of things. One is the 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 Gentile world dominion. Who are the Gentiles? The Greco, the Greco um, Europeans, or the Anglo American system of things? I mean, it's inevitable. We we we, we see the handwriting uh, peeling off of the wall right now. You know, the wall is falling, and you've been looking at the handwriting, and the handwriting is already on the wall. You know, saying, but nobody wants to speak the truth. You understand? Therefore, they don't truly receive his. His His grace, but we preach this, we proclaim this, because this is His will, not our will. If it was our will, well, you don't want to hear about it. If it was our will, and 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 we, and, and we who are of this seed, you understand? There is a there is a whole lot of anger against the Gentiles, but 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 the the, the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So 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 let us. You know, let us recognize, let us be fully um, persuaded of that. And, and Rastafari, don't take my word, listen to the King of Kings, read his word. He testifies to this, so we have to study and show I and I ourselves approved. So this is the 82nd um, Nagusa Neges Tawi Zoda Baal of Edamawi Haila Selassie the first. So what does this mean? You know, that's the next question that people say, okay, so, 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 so what? You understand? Well, obviously, if you say, so what, you, you haven't been paying attention or you are not doing due diligence. When it says to watch and pray, the word watch is not always used in the, in the original, the inspired, in the pure text to mean look with your eyes. It, it means to, to, to tiggle, to, to, to be diligent. You understand? I mean, diligent. You know, when you're diligent about something, you, you know what I mean? If, if you're diligent, then you're going to really study to know the truth for yourself because Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, and we emphasize the blackness. Yes, we emphasize that because others has uh, sought to deceive with their whitewashed, blonde hair, blue eyed images, and we get to find out that this is Caesar Bourgeois. You understand? And we get to find out that the whitewashed marries his sister, and the and the little boy or whatever, the big head boy in the picture is 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 really most likely um, the illegitimate son. That was a very a very evil family, the family of Pope Alexander the Sixth, and it's not. It's not I and I that say this. Go check out the Borgias. I think they have some some romantic um, dramas out there on Showtime and some of the other channels. And there's a whole lot of others who have gone into more of the of the of the nasty and the naughty and the disgusting details of it. But but yet that is the image that they have given you. You understand for our Lord. But but this is why it says that his name and his person is continually blasphemed, but all thanks and praise to the God and Father of Moshiach Yeshua. You understand? For, for sending us this word and the Holy Spirit and, and the fellowship of the brothers and the sisters and, and, and the mothers. And, and brothers and sisters, we're in a time where it's not about being scared or scared or unsure, but about getting prepared. 
You understand? Getting prepared in your spirit, in, in your soul, in your heart, and in your mind. Because Yeshua HaMoshiach, our Father, Abba, Kedus, 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 He will take care of the rest. He's already promised that for those of us who are in, in spirit and in truth and, and, and who please Him with our Amen, with our faith, with our our study, our learning of him. As Kedamari Hala Selassie says, Come to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. His majesty asks, Abba asks the question, Who can resist an invitation so full of compassion? And so you've got to ask yourself that. Are, are you resisting this invitation to really learn of the King of Kings? While there is still this, this grace, you understand, while there's still, the, you see, when, when, when grace, when the time of grace, this, this dispensation is up, we're coming into a judgment time. And this is one reason why we touched on, let's see if we have it down here, one reason why we touched on the, um, you know, the calendar right here. We touched on this prophetic calendar um, tribulation timeline. Um, while we also identify the true black Jack, you understand, or black Jacob, because the people don't know who they be. And as the word says, my people perish or are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So this is a, this particular timeline right here, talking about the black riff or the dark riff and, and a lot of other stuff is very interesting, extraterrestrials, all of that. But first things first. We have to be rooted and grounded. And so we've been inspired about uh, back in 1990, what was it, 1990, I think 92, 93, to speak about the King Sabbath. And we fully didn't really understand that. But now when we're looking at this time, this year, 2012, and and well, there's a prophetic um, menorah. There's, there's the menorah chart as well because when you look at it, when you look at it Ethiopically, right? Um, this chart has a lot of information in here, and we, we we really need to study you know study it piecemeal piecemeal because there's a lot to that. But we're in this seven to eight year period of time right now. This is like a door. There's like a door. In a sense, in heaven, there's, there's this door that we are in, even this planet Earth. And a lot of the scientists have dismissed a lot of things that were biblical, scriptural, but they're finding that the Bible, far from being superstitious, the only thing superstitious was the counterfeit whitewash interpretation or misinterpretation. You understand? And, and, and um, they still have not really fully received the true humanity of our Lord, of the Lord, of Adonai Yeshua HaMoshiach, his blackness. But once they do, and if they are able to, everything else begins to make perfect sense. You understand? How could one not, once they open their eye and receive, but they have to receive a love of the truth. This is what the Word has taught us, and a lot of folks don't have this love of the truth. And even in this chapter that we have been um, reading from the first part, and it's uh, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 6, um, if you read the whole chapter or listen to the first part of this reasoning, it even says that if any man, right, teach otherwise, other than the teaching of his majesty, right, for I and I is Rastafari and faithful Ethiopian Hebrews, and consent not to wholesome, to tana, to to a healthy, to healing word, holistic words, even the words of Gaitach and Jesus Christos. So, so Jesus Christos' word is our true ital. It is the totality of reality in the King of Kings for I and I. Wholesome words. Now, um, I don't know if I, done, if, I uh, if I done did this before. But let me look up in His Majesty's Bible this particular word. I know I've probably read over it, but right now, just to do due diligence, right? To do due diligence, let me look at verse, um, verse three, right? Let me look at verse three. Yep, here, here it goes. In the zihin, asa tamirna mikr, manim liu timherit yemiyas tamir 
kagetachnem ka Jesus Christos de hono tinama kalena egzi abe herin le memsel be mismama temherit ye mai ye mai ega bihon ye mai ega bihon now it's interesting cuz that's that's what it is tinama like we say tena yesterling and like Ethiopians used to, well, well, more faithfully, a lot of stuff has gone on. That's what we call Ethiopian to, um, you know, to repentance, right? And, and to, to, for Ethiopian, faithful Ethiopians who have faith in, in the true God and Father of Yeshua HaMoshiach. Some might not be able to receive fully, you understand, this revelation of the King of Kings. And, and it should be not for us to force it on others, but to, to proclaim it, to, to live it to testify, and to be apt to teach. So it, it says to us that if any do, do not bring these healthy, these holistic words, these truly vital and vital words, right, of the teaching of his majesty and the testimony of Jesus Christos and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, like Gizyabiherle Memsel, to resembling God, that's literally godliness to resemble God, for God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and word and strife of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmising, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, men of, of criminal minds, have, have chosen to become the antichrist of Christ and his kingly character of his imperial majesty, destitute of truth. They are destitute. They may have a lot of money, but they are they're, they're destitute. They're poor in illnet. They're poor in emet. They're poor in veritas, in truth. Supposing that gain is godliness. They think that the more money they get, right, through all sort of crooked and crook-hearted ways, is, is more of them being godly in their false sense. We can see that so clearly in the, in the apostate church of, uh, of, of Babylon or the, the, the Romanist church, and even they are called to repent. But for us, it says, from such, withdraw thyself, as Ethiopia withdrew herself for, some say, 3,000 years, others might say 3,600 years. You understand, um, we... Um, you know, we defer to the latter. Thirty-six is more, more, but we can roughly say three thousand years of history cannot be wiped away so easily. But they are trying. Not that they have tried, but they continue. This is why we call the brothers and sisters to partake in this ministry, even to download these vids and to repost them. You understand? Even to 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 bring forth your your inspired testimonies as well. What has the King of Kings, what has this Christ done for you? You understand, to testify, the most powerful thing that you have is your faithful and truthful testimony. That, that is it right there. But we use that verse 17 of First Timothy chapter 6 for this 82nd um, uh, coronation of the King of Kings um, memorial and also the beginning of this Shabbat, so Shabbat, Negusa Negesa Senbet Salam, the King of Kings Shabbat Shalom, Shalom Jaras Tafari, if you please. It says, charge them that are rich in this world. So those who are rich in this world, there's no sin to them because they are rich. You know what I'm saying? But they had to be charged, even among our brothers and sisters. See, the, people have this, this, this faulty idea. You know what I'm saying? These faulty ideas. This is why they have to repent. It means have a change of mind. Steve Jobs said it best, actually. He, he, I don't know if he was conscious of it, but he translated the word repent in, in one of his um, service marks for his, his Mac computers, where he says, think differently. Right? Think differently. Once you find out that this is the truth, or you find out the truth, you have to now think differently, or you should rather think differently. It will be in your best interest to think differently. Charge them that are rich in this world, in this seclorum, right, in this world order, that they be not high-minded, that they don't be haughty. Mm-hmm. 
like they were in the Roaring Twenties. Remember before the coronation of Negus and Neges? Before the coronation of Kedamawi Haile Selassie? They were haughty. You understand? It was the Roaring Twenties. But when the lion roared, you understand? When Moan, Bessazem, Negeti, Yehuda came forth, the Roaring Twenties, vank. It was vanquished. And then came what? The Great Depression. How? How coincidental is that? And now they are saying to us, even though we said it to them first and in our earlier vids, making a likeness to what's going on with the 1930s and fascism, you know, or corporatism, whatever they want to call it, you understand today, globalism or global, globalism, you understand, or Lucifer Baalism, G. Lucifer Baalism, or whatever they want to call it, you understand? Um, the same thing is happening now. So we're in a kind of, it's like history in a sense on a certain level is repeating itself. And this, which people thought was mythology or Bible stories, is, is coming to life in, 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 in the fourth dimension. You know, not just the three dimension, but the fourth dimension. And as I said, living color. So those who are rich in this world, that means they are rich in the things of this world. They got money, they got houses, they got business, wealth, or whatever. That's good. But don't be high-minded. Don't be haughty-taughty, right, or highty-flighty, right, nor trust in uncertain riches. Mm-hmm. I've been saying this to a lot of the brothers, too, who are looking for certain ideas and things to get into business so that ones can at least go uh, forward to repatriate. But the first, the repatriation, you know what repatriation means? It means to return to the Father. Look it up. Repatriation means to return to the Pater, the Peter, the Pater. Some say Jupiter. You know what I'm Some say that Jupiter is the planet, not in the Biru, but either way, it's going to lean back. All, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. You understand that Yeshua is Adonai. That a yes who says Gita, the King of Kings has testified, he has taught us both in word and in deed. And it's important for us as the Beta Rastafari to recognize His Majesty's Gospel and to see the true Tawahido, you understand, to digest, you understand, that word so we can grow up to Him in all things, to wit, the redemption of of the body, and therefore that which we say Rastafari and I die will be true, that, that, that mortality will be swallowed up in immortality. So if we are to return to the Father, we have to enter in through the door, and that door is Yeshua HaMoshi, is the Yesus Christos, in spirit and in truth. So when we show you these, these um, eye traits and, 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 and the visual slides and the evidence you understand, or the pictures even. You understand, this is just testifying to the truth. Not no form of idolatry or bowing to pictures, fire, bun. You know, as the heathen and those of perverse and corrupt minds would insinuate. You know, to say that the living God is an idol. No, the living God is the living God. The God of Abraham, of Yitzhak, of Yaakov. You understand, the God of the living, not the God of the dead, the triune God. Even in the person of Adamawi Haila Salase. So so recognize. But it says charge them who are rich in this world that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches. You know, gambling. In other words, building on the sand and not on the rock. But in the living God, in the living God, Yahai, 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 Jalis, children, yea, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Now, let's overstand this. You see, a lot of people have been putting, a lot of us have been putting the cart before the horse, and the horse is smart. The horse is not going to push the cart. It's going to try to turn around and pull the cart in the opposite direction. This is why ones have been skylocking and going backward. Because they're listening to men and people, not checking out what the father says. Uh, Abba knows best. Daddy knows best. Abba knows best. Verse 18. So, verse 17 says that he gives us richly. All things. Can you say all things? All things to enjoy that's in his will and of his will. But the first thing for us to be recipient is to make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil. 
It's to show the greatest wisdom. In order to follow this aim, one must be guided by the hymenot, by the hymenot, the meserita hymenot of the King of Kings. And the meserita hymenot of the King of Kings is the Moshiach Yeshua, is Christos Jesus, our black Lord and Savior. And that they do good. You see verse 18, do good. Do good. That they do good. That they be rich in good works. Now, Another qualifier right here, Colossians people say, well, I do good works. You do good works according to your unrepentant heart and mind, according to what you think. And some of it might be good. Some of it might not. It's uncertain. You know be certain, study, and show thyself approved, ready to distribute, ready to distribute, to distribute the gospel, the good news, distribute the, even the tithes and the offerings and the donations to support the ministry of the gospel of his majesty's grace and truth. Willing to communicate. And that word there too as well, willing to communicate. He understands we communicate the spiritual things of the word, of the teaching of his majesty. You, as you are able cheerfully to do, also communicate, also distribute. Laying up in store for themselves. So this is the way that we lay up in store. We put a deposit, you understand, in the heavenly, in the heavenly realm. You understand, in the spiritual realm, in true spirituality, a good foundation, a good standing place. Not like those who build on the, sta on the sand, but we who build on the rock. And that rock is Moshiach, against the time to come. You see, so this is why we say that this is a, this, this particular time that we're in. We, we hear about the Mayan calendar and, and, and Nostradamus and this one and that one, but have you heard of the Ficari Yesus? Have you heard of the explication of Yeshua, of Yesus? Have you read? You understand? You can order a copy of that book. You understand? For copy, we translated to give you the raw translation because we didn't want to add no kind of, kind of um, you know, linguistic flourishes to it. We wanted you to be able to read it as, as we even first read it raw. You understand the Fakari Yesus, the explication of the, of the Yesus. We have one in the Amharic, you understand? Um, and then one in the English, the raw translation and interpretation. Get a copy of that, and we're going to see what we can do to also post up there, because it's not out there. Many Ethiopians um, might have heard, and some know about this, but we need to publish this. So it says, for us to lay up in store for ourselves a good foundation. I know this is speaking to those who are rich amongst us. Right, who in the world. They are rich from the worldly things. They are faithful ones, but they, they have a lot of, you know, they were able to be blessed in, in material things. You understand? To support the ministry of his majesty, to support the propagation of his gospel, of the gospel of his grace and his truth. And therefore, we lay up for ourselves, for I and I selves, a good foundation by doing good. So this is how we do good. Not do good according to our unrepentant minds or our worldly ways just because we put on a dreadlock or we burn the herb or we go bingy, but, but really what, to, to, to have a true change of mind, to recognize that rebirth. Then we come into that true sonship, you understand, and daughtership as well. Where he pours out upon us the Holy Spirit, the manifest caduce, the, the Ruch HaKodesh, or the Ruach HaKodesh, if you please. And we lay a good foundation against the time to come. Now you can see in that tribulation timeline, it talks about the, the time to come and the time also that was. It's how you can see the accuracy of the, the heavenly signs. But in order to interpret these signs, it is the gospel of grace. It is his word. And to receive his Holy Spirit and to receive a love of the truth. That they, speaking of us, let's receive it, that we may lay hold on eternal life that we may lay hold, that we may grab, that we may seize eternal life. So there is an activity. There's a way to act, right? There's a way to act in spirit, 
and in truth. And then Harari Apollos, he sums up here to his uh, disciple, his Deca Mesmor uh, Timotheos, uh, Timotheos Hoi, O oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Just like for you all, for the I and brethren and sister and, and mothers, keep this which is committed to your trust. Avoiding profane and vain babblings. You know, a lot of folks, even on the Internet, chatter. They'll call it today chatter. A lot of the chatter out there on the web. You understand know, a lot of chatter among novices and others, you understand, know, who have not submitted themselves to the King of Kings' will and are doing according to their way and going astray. So to avoid these profane and vain babblings, Right? They babble on about Babylon, right? And 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 oppositions or, or Satana, the oppositions, right, of science, and that word science is gnosis, right? Gnosis falsely so called. Or gnosis pseudonymous. If you would look it up, it's gnosis, knowledge, gnosis, science is knowledge. Knowledge that is falsely so called. Because they they, they deny you understand, the, the, the black sack of the matter. You understand, because if they cannot receive the physical things, you understand, the earthly things, in other words, if they cannot recognize the earthly things, that Yeshua HaMoshiach is black or Ethiopian in his humanity. If they, if they can't receive that, they talk about, they babble on about Jewish, but then they don't want to recognize the oldest known Jews, right, or Hebrews or Beta Israel in the world because they're Afro-Shemitic. Is that anti-Afro-Shemitic? Well, that's the opposition of science, falsely so-called. Now they run around this DNA trip and saying they could tell what we, what the true Jews are. But this is the question. It's based on a faulty paradigm. What is the, the Jewish blood that they're basing it all on? So they are comparing themselves, as Hawari Apollo says, amongst themselves. You see, we've already gone through and we've come through this great tribulation. So, so many of us have believed, you know, the whitewash, the lie, and we would have been happy to do so until we receive the love of the truth. You understand? And, and then our whole paradigm started to change, and, and the facts and the evidence support it. You understand the revelation of Aras Tefari. Verse 21, to conclude this chapter, which some professing, so there's some who profess, right, and Selassie is God, or Hala Selassie is God, some that profess, but they have erred, right, they have erred, because they're basing it on what we call logical fallacies, right, or gnosis pseudonymous. It's not true Gnostic, but it's really correctly ignosis, right, or gnosis that is pseudonymous, pseudo, falsely, nomos, falsely called, so-called, right, which some professing have erred, they have erred concerning the hymenote, they have erred concerning the faith, the faith of who? The faith of the King of Kings and his Christ, the true faith of the Father and the Son in the Holy Spirit. Grace be with thee. Amen and amen. Grace, my brothers and sisters, grace. The message going into this, this, this King of Kings Shabbat time. And, and, and going into this seven to eight year, remember the Ethiopian calendar and the so-called Western calendar or the so-called Julian and the Gregorian calendar, they say it's about seven years. It's like seven to eight year difference. And we can see that even in the so-called 2,000 years since the Moshiach Yeshua, since Christos Iesus, that they were celebrating 2,000 right, as the new millennium. And, and some um, Ethiopians um, carelessly, you understand, denying their own root and their truth and building on a sandy foundation. Also, be naive that 2000 was the real millennium. But then ask them the question, what about zero year? Think about what was the zero year? So there was a year that did not have any number. How, how does this really go? No, the, the, the year, now here's what's so very interesting, because in 2007, 
right? 2007 to 2008. Remember, there's a seven, a seven year plus, like say nine, ten months. If you round it off, it's basically eight. Now, the eight is a very important number in the mathematics of the kingdom of heaven. You understand? And even in the mathematics of the name of Yeshua, and even in the mathematics of the name of Yahweh. If you've looked at the number, it comes up to 26. Yod, hey, wow, hey. And the two and six is eight. And even when you look at the name Yeshua or Yesus, you see that it's eight or eight, eight, eight. So if you understand that also symbolizes infinity, eternity, or the Zalalamawi, you know, the eternal. It, it, it's very interesting that when we look at the difference between the Western Gentile, right, and the Ethiopian Hebrew or Hebraic, we have this this between the 2000s, we have this eight-year difference. And if you were to look at what occurred in 2007 to 2008, think about it for a moment, that was really a new millennium. You know what I'm saying? When we look at the events that occurred, I mean, the election of, of President um, Barack uh, Obama, Hussein Obama, as they would say, the first um, the first uh, so-called African president, and, and not really in that sense, but under the Articles of Confederation and all that, which is a lot of detail behind that, we'll, we'll spare you right now. So let us just say, you're saying, okay, the first African president under the present constitution and present constituency of government as it is, although we know that there's John Hansen as well. That's the half of the story that they suppress. So, so think about this. When they are talking about what prophecy means and they are suppressing truth from, from um, racist, you understand, demonically racist um, opinion, they'll say we're racist because we say black. And we're showing them the evidence. We're showing them how they're whitewashed. Jesus is a lie and a fraud. Do they address it? This is why the word says to us, it gives us a warning right here. It says, um, it says avoiding profane and vain babblings. You understand? And so much we also do even when we're out here on the World Wide Web. You understand? Some things we can just avoid these sort of things. You can friend, unfriend, whatever like that. Avoid. We don't, we don't have anything to prove to these. We are testifying. We are bearing witness to the teaching and the testimony of His Majesty and His Christ and Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior. You understand? In, in word and in deed. Yovas, and therefore we don't have nothing to prove. It doesn't say study and show ourselves approved to vain and profane babblings. It don't say that. It says to study and to show ourselves approved to God, right? To to the true and the living God and Father of our Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMoshiach of Jesus Christ. Now, this is why. Now, that's in actually Second Timothy um, two and fifteen. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. So it gives us some very, very important word sound right here. And so we're announcing, and this is why we're talking about what time is it really. The more we begin to start to study the scriptures and, and see the correspondence of events as above, so below, even with the most recent Hurricane Sandy which we pointed out elsewhere, want to do a vid, and y'all can do a vid too on it, uh, on this basic fact, check it out. Once you know it's fact, you got the knowledge, you got the truth of it, what you're going to do with it. That's been entrusted to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, that the path of the, of the storm, of the hurricane, took the same path as the path of the so-called slave ships, which brought the uh, Hebrews... Right, the black Hebrews or the Ethiopian Hebrews to this particular so called North Country. Right? This North Country and this so called new this this new world, this new world order. In other words, the new world order, the only new world order that is coming, the true new world order is of Yeshua Mushia. Right? Is of the King of Kings and his Christ. That's the only true new world order. We're in this forty year dispensation right here. And, and then if you look at the 40 years and, and other connections, you'll notice that there is, there is a sign even in the numbers. So first you have to get the facts, and then you start to do the math. You understand? Just study. Show yourself approved to God. God is spirit, and in truth, the spirit of truth as a workman. That means you must be about his work and partake 
partake of his grace. If you partake of his truth, how be it not of his grace? And to give a good confession. You understand? In the words, that means speaking this word and putting forward this word according to your call and your gifts. You understand? And, and if you don't know exactly what these are, well, well, head rest with the Father in the authority and name of the Son of Yeshua. He is our righteousness. You understand? Apart from that, all of our righteousnesses, you understand, are, like the scripture says, they're like filthy, they're like filthy rags. They're like dirty and, and filthy rags. So what's so interesting about what Hawaria Paolo says, and His Majesty makes special mention of Hawaria um, 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 Paolo's or the Apostle Shaul, Paul, in the Lutheran interview. And it's interesting because what Paul says is that when, when Christ comes, right, when, when, when the Moshiach, and for us as Hebrews, priests, prophets, and kings, in particular, the kings upon the throne of David, as Kedamawi Haile Selassie is. So, so David never lacked a man to sit upon his throne. So we have a fulfillment here. Haile Selassie, the first and the last of this Davidic and Solomonic line to date. So where are we right now? We are in prophetic we are in prophetic territory right here now if you don't recognize the prophecy it's going to feel and be very pathetic you know what I'm saying? because as it says my people perish are destroyed for a lack they are lost because of a lack of knowledge so what knowledge is important is the knowledge of the bain ha elohim it's the knowledge of the son of god our Father, Abba Kedus, 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 His Majesty Karamawi Haile Selassie. He testifies and he bears witness to the same. So all of us who call upon this name as Aras Tafari, we should pay attention to that. You understand? And commune with our own hearts and minds and humble I and ourselves. You understand? Because if... It is, as you say, do you, and, and you'll say, well, why do you say if? It is. Well, if it is, then we must be who we must be as he is who he is. So brothers and sisters and, and, and mothers, of course, there's more that we want to um, 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 touch on, right, um, in this particular um, 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 holy day. Right, and I mean this holy time and this Shabbat and this Shabbat is lik lika. Now remember, we we touched on Proverbs, uh, not Proverbs, actually Psalm forty-seven and seven, which is to give praise, give eyes, give Yeshua. You understand, Yeshua is deliverance, is salvation, is healing, right? Is healthiness, right? This is the root of our health, not just our physical health. Our spiritual health, this means our true barakat, our blessing, psychological health, you understand? Because our soul is our suke, as well as physical health and wealth and our richness. This is why when it talks about in um, Revelation, where he says, I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are none. And it says to us, he says, he knows our poverty, but we are rich. If we would receive his riches and the richness of his word the richness of this of this of this of this of this gospel of of his grace of his gracious majesty so i so i beseech the eye of them brothers and sisters to be recipients first you have to receive it you're over saying you have to commune you are saying upon your own bed you understand? You have, to, you have to meditate this. You have to pray to, to the true and living God. And we would not know God, the true and living, because there's many gods and lords. Don't let them deceive you with counterfeit mono, muno theism. You know, there's many gods and lords. The Bible even says so. But for us, there is one. There is the God and the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christus. But how do we know the true God. Let me ask a question. I mean, there's so much counterfeit out there. You know, there's ones might say, well, how do we know? You understand that we are in the truth. Well, first of all, we pay attention to that true word and we study. 
You understand? So we know the truth for ourselves. But let's just um, go to John. Johannes. I love the name Johannes. Johannes means the, the grace of Yah or the grace of Jah. John's grace. Johannes. And remember we said that these were the two books that they wanted to um, get out of the Bible. John, because they said it was too Gnostic. It was too mystical. You understand as well as Revelation. But really it testified too much. Right? When we look in this is the prayer of intercession of Yeshua in chapter 17 of um of of Caduce, uh, Johannes Wengel, it says the prayer of intercession. These words spake Yeshua and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, Ab, Ab, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power or authority, right? Sultan, authority over all flesh. Say all, all flesh, that he should give, that who should give? That the son, that the world, right? That the son should give. So this is the order of the Ab. This is the order of Abba, that the son, right, the world should give eternal life. Zalalamawi Hewet, to as many as thou, as the Ab, as the Father, has given him. Verse 3. Now it's interesting Yeshua is speaking in a sense in the third person here, right? In the red letter of the Bible in, in St. John chapter 17, verse 3. And this, this is life eternal. This is life eternal. Now we as Rastafari, we say, I and I not die. Right? Now, let's understand this. How is that accomplished in us unless we repent? unless we think different, have a change of mind in accordance with the teaching of his majesty, and, 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 and that we be born again, born from above. You understand? Know and that we follow the son of man, Lich Tefari, Ras Tefari, Negus Tefari, even Kadamawi Haila Salase, Ab Kedus, in the regeneration of the son of man. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee. That who? That they. Who are they? That's we. That's I and I. Read his majesty's Hiwatena um, Ethiopia um, Rinja. You understand? Um, my life in Ethiopia's progress, book one, the preface right there. He's making a prayer to the son. This is very interesting. His majesty is praying to the Son as the Son here 2,000 years ago prayed to the Father. Now, when we study the Scriptures, we'll see the, the, the beautiful revelation of what really has gone on above and what is the revelation of Rastafari even down here below. And this is life eternal that they, that we might know, might have gnosis. Because this is the book that talks about no, you shall know, gnosis, gnosticoi, which means Gnostic. And think about how you've heard of so-called Christians, nominal Christians, beating up on Gnostic and everything Gnostic, right? And even this idea of Gnosis. And because their Christianity, apostate Christianity, counterfeit Christianity is about ignorance, because as soon as we say that Yeshua HaMoshiach is black, they say, it doesn't really matter. So for so And they keep palming off Caesar Borgias. You understand? Well, Caesar is not our Moshiach. You understand? Yeshua is. Right? But Yeshua says that this is life eternal, that they, that we might know thee. So Yeshua is praying to the Father, and he is saying concerning the disciples then, and we that come as Amorit, even today, we disciples of the King of Kings and his Christ today, that we might know. So faith, amen, admittance is the, is, is, is the rock, is the key. But, but we are being brought to a, a knowledge, not just knowledge of academic knowledge, but experiential knowledge. Why true Rastafari say, he who feels it knows it. Not just the tacit, the, 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 the tacit feelings like, like, you know, touch and everything like that, but spiritual, the spiritual feeling of it, the spiritual experience of it, right, that they might know the, the only true God, 
The only, notice this, the only true God. So there's other gods and lords, but they are not true. The only true God, right? And Jesus Christos and Yeshua HaMoshiach, whom thou hast sent. Whom thou hast sent. This is a very beautiful word right here. But I, I like to remind myself of that word. Because it's important because every day we're being bombarded. You understand? You know, by the world and by their way of thinking. And if we're not careful, we begin to skylark. And then that when we skylark, and next thing we, we have, we've fallen off. You understand? And then you begin to hear of a, a lot of ones who are holding the true faith now talk, they, talking some apostasy. Because this word tells us that that's one of the signs, one of the so-called 16 signs of the end of this particular world age, the end of what many of us are persuaded of based on the evidence in our study is the second world age as we are moving into the, interestingly enough, the third, the third world age. Now, of course, there's much more, my brothers and sisters, that I want to share with the eye of them. Um, we're going to take a pause for the cause right here because we wanted to put forward a message especially for this 82nd um, um, coronation um, of the King of Kings, the significance of it. You understand? This is opening the gate. And now notice also this is a Friday, right, a Friday. And then the 21st of December is also a Friday. And then in the, the book of Adam and Eve or the Gedla Adam, right, the Gedla Adam, or in the Lost Books of the Bible, Forgotten Books of Eden, the Gedla Adam, when Yared, right, when Yared died, right, um, in the day was the 12th of Taxus, right, the, the 12th of Taxus. That's the Ethiopian month of Taxus, which kind of corresponds more or less to what you call December, right? So the 12th of Taxus is actually December 21st. So look at that, the numbers, 1, 2, then 2, 1, right? Um, so that was a Friday too. So now what is the, you know, and, and Yared, Yared, Wared, that means to descend. There was, there was an apostasy that was happening even in that time among the sons or the children of, of, of the Hebraic Seth, right? The Hebraic Seth, not the other Egyptian Seth, which is a different Shet. Shet of Egypt is a storm god, like, you know, now they're able to geoengineer storms. So they are, feel they're getting their old um, so-called powers back. But that's a, a clue as to the demonic activity also going on, actually, right? So it's very interesting that this is, you know, the Friday, the the Shabbat part of it. Remember what Christ said, pray that your flight be not on the, what, Shabbat day. You, you know, this, but, but, but learn what these things mean. So we're going to just sum up right here with a blessing, the, the word of blessing for the brothers and sisters on this particular day. And it's from Numbers, or read the Chilkwe, Mi'raf Sidis, chapter 6 of Numbers. And we'll read it, read it first right here. And a Gaziabiha a Gaziabiha Rim Musain and Diba Lo Tanagaro and Yahweh, he who be who he be, his gracious majesty spake to Moses, Musa, the head of the fraternal order of the Levites, because the order of Melchizedek is according to the pattern of Levi, but is according to Yehuda, because our Lord, the Moshiach, sprang from Yehuda as even Lich Teferi, Kedamari Halas sprang from Moa and Bessazem together, Zeim Negeda, Yehuda, from the tribe of Judah, which means the praises, the eyes, so the significance of praises. But remember Psalm 47 and 7 to give praises with overstanding. Study and show thyself approved. So, Le Arona Le Lejochu Negaracho. Ye is Raelina Lejocha Sitabar Kuacho and D. Beluacho, and D. Beluacho, Beluacho, right? Speak to Aaron, Haron, Aaron, whose name interesting also means the ark on the level, right? Um, and to his, and to his, and to his sons, 
right, as we are those sons and daughters of the King of Kings, saying, on this wise, in this way, ye shall bless, right, ye shall bless the children of Israel, the Beta Israel, even with I and I new name, the Beta Rastafari, saying to them, May Yahweh, he who be who he be, his, his gracious majesty, the King of Kings, bless thee and keep and protect thee. And Yahweh, he who be who he be, his gracious majesty, make his face, his panim, his, his feet, his, his, his face, bamarinya. This is the generation of them who seek thy face, the face of the God of, of Jacob's face. Shine, may his face shine upon thee and be gracious the key word gracious to thee egazi abher the sustainer negusenegas the king of kings fitun wada ante yanasa salam menema yis 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 right um yahweh he who be who he be is gracious majesty negusenegas the King of Kings, lift up his countenance, lift up his face, his revelation upon thee, and give thee peace, the peace of the King of Kings, the shalom, the salam of the King of Kings is the Moshiach, Yeshua, Yosin in spirit and in truth, dwelling in us, the, the true tabernacle, in Dihu, Semen be Israel le Jochlai, Yadargalu, Enem Barkachualo. And they shall put my name, his name, the Hashem, Kedamawi, Haila Salase, his name upon the children, the redeemed children of Israel, the Beta Israel, the Beta Rastafari, and I will bless them, and he will bless us. This is, this is the true blessing of we as Beta Israel. Learn it and love it, my brothers and sisters. But the key to opening, the key is Yeshua HaMoshiach, is the Christ of his majesty, the Yeshua of the faithful Ethiopian Hebrews. And once again, brothers and sisters, just to wrap up here, um, for this 82nd, uh, 82nd uh, Memorial Metasebia of the coronation of the King of Kings, the coronation of Moan Bessazem Negeri Yehuda, the coronation of Kedamawi, Haila Selase, the coronation of Siyume Gziariher, the elect of God, the coronation of Negusa Negest, Ze Ethiopia Inquan, Le Nugusa Neges Zoda Baal Bedechna Yadaresawo Bedechna Adaresachu. Congratulations if you are hearing this, if you are able to receive this. He, he, even he who be, who he be, his gracious majesty has brought you safely has brought you in Yeshua, Bedechna, in the Medhane Alem, to the feast of the coronation of the King of Kings. In Yeshua HaMoshiach, Shalom Aras Tefari.